I'm UL forecaster Lee Southwick and what a day it has been this Saturday weather wise. So far we've had stratus clouds develop along the I-10 corridor keeping temperatures up north almost 10 degrees cooler than areas such as Gainesville and Ocala. We also have this onshore flow which is bringing breezy conditions to area areas across north central Florida. And we've also had showers developing along the first coast due to a coastal trough. And those showers have been drifting into north central Florida, crossing the I-75 corridor. So for our future radar, still showers developing throughout the night along the first coast. A few of those may drift in to north central Florida. And then the chance for showers also last tomorrow. So this coastal trough is bringing brief showers all the way through Sunday. Then cooler and drier air arrives on Monday, so our rain chances do diminish and our temperatures will be cool. And then the onshore flow, of course, is going to keep us breezy through Tuesday as well. So for tomorrow, some more showers could move into north central Florida, but overall those showers will be uh, located along the first coast, mostly concentrated along the first coast. Temperatures tonight dropping to 60 in Gainesville, 63 in Ocala, 54 in areas such as Lake City and Live Oak. It will be a cool start. We'll continue to be breezy. Then Sunday afternoon heating up to the mid to upper 70s in areas such as Gainesville and Ocala. But then further north in areas such as Lake City we will be staying in the lower 70s. And again, will be breezy for our Sunday afternoon. And then on Monday, though, that's when that cooler and drier air arrives. Temperatures drop back down to in areas such as Gainesville and Ocala back to the mid to lower 70s and then we're going to stay that way through the next six days staying in the 70s all the way up until Friday then we're getting close to 80 once again.